When I ask people, why do you come to Kingsburg? I hear one response more often than others. <laughs> this is the church that actually does something. We have a main location in Tip City, but Ginghamsburg is everywhere. Just a mile down the road from our main campus is the original building. Ginghamsburg was actually born in 1863, the result of a small town revival. Ten new Christians planted a seed of faith that day. If only they could see what their seed has become. Like I said, Ginghamsburg is everywhere. Just behind the original building is our New Path headquarters. New Path is the organization that oversees all of our community outreach. They run stuff like food pantries, gently used clothing stores, donated furniture distribution, and the gifting of donated vehicles. There's also a medical barn for anyone who needs durable medical equipment and an antique shop for low-cost, non-essential items. In the bottom floor, below New Path, is our counseling center. These folks have given away hundreds of thousands of dollars in uncompensated care. One thing I enjoy most about Ginghamsburg is that we're moving closer to Dayton. Right now we have two campuses that are extending our reach into the city. The Fort McKinley campus is in Harrison Township on the corner of Salem and Siebenthaler. It could be the most diverse church I've ever been a part of. The people are awesome and it's incredibly connected to the neighborhood. The fort has access to all the resources that New Path provides, in addition to GED tutoring, computer stations, and community development. What really pumps me up is the partnership we have with the county. For example, right now we're partnering with local government to build 25 quality homes for low-income families right in the Fort McKinley neighborhood. Our newest campus just opened its doors in Trotwood. We're calling it The Point, and we've given that neighborhood the same promise we gave Fort McKinley, that we will be a church that they can be proud of. So where does that put us? Well, here's all the places we've talked about so far. And we haven't even mentioned the global impact of Ginghamsburg Church. We have had the opportunity to invest in places like Chicago, Philadelphia, and New York City. Our people have responded to every nearby natural disaster and have sent over 70 teams to the Gulf since Hurricane Katrina made landfall. Every year our own people lead teams to places like Ghana, Haiti, Jamaica, and Costa Rica. Most jaw-dropping to me has been our missional investment in the country of Sudan. Every Christmas we give as much money as we can to provide education, food, and clean water. So far that's been over five and a half million dollars. Now we have the amazing opportunity to plant our first church in South Sudan. I love that we're not just planning church activities. Actually, being the church in the world is quite the adventure. Although it's really less about what we do and everything about who we are. So who are we? We are radical disciples of Jesus Christ and we're out to transform the world.